I'm an ordinary MP re- responsible for the justice portfolio and an alternate in the minerals. Mm. But um, in the structure as well, uh, the, then the uh, people who've been there, who, you know, the seniority, mm. there's commissars. Now, uh, yeah, you, you need to, you should do my limitations. Mm. Mm. So that's why I said to you, um, the next step is that um i think i'll be uh leaving uh, I'm, I'm i'll be resigning soon uh from the eff then it means also wow. i'm resigning from parliament oh and my. then um i'm just weighing my options where i can i can i can move towards doing um, I know in South Africa. When you start a political party, you are joined by two people, activists and careerists. Mm. Now, when they see that there are no positions, careerists will leave, activists will remain. <laughs> Yeah, but in our organization in the EFF at the time, there was a lady called Tebo uh, who benefited from that that that, that money. You said he hey, was a uh, funeral and what what. Yeah. In, uh, I think Julius, I remember. Story. Happy birthday, EFF! Today is a very 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 important day of our lives. The day when we took a resolution to change the lives of the people of South Africa and Africa as large. We are saying we're going to celebrate at Kanyamazani Stadium tomorrow. Come with your everything and join us in our celebration. Happy birthday, EFF. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, EFF. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Machine and political incorrect. Uh, let me start with this picture, the picture that you are seeing here. So this picture talks about Malema. We've discussed this matter many times before. Malema taking people, and you see MK is doing the same thing. Taking people, doing what in, in street politics we call parachuting. You are just taking someone from nowhere, you are dropping them at a higher Achalon because of their qualification of because of their stature in 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 in, in society or whatever political mileage you are trying to get. But parachuting does not actually mean someone maybe when they're on merit. It just means someone who just jumps the queue. So they are questioning: Is it wise for Julius Malema to keep doing this? I don't want to say policy. This strategy of taking people and bringing them to a higher position, like in Parliament, you'd see Jimmy Mani, uh, uh, Ringo Matlingos, uh, the, the, the comrade uh, who, who came from, who was a freedom fighter, who was jailed. Uh, they did it with uh, Eugene of, of TKZ. They did it with uh, uh, Kalni House. Kalni House name is Mpatakazi or something. I, I, I can't remember his Zulu name. So people are now saying that was wrong. And they're saying it because they feel sympathetic for Julius Malema. He did say that a lot of people come, coming. Uh, Gulam, uh, the Twitter's book. So Gulam says, even uh, another member, senior, is going to come. So people are alleging that it could be, uh, it could be uh, Kalni House. But look, if it's Carl Niehaus, I, I would have been easily swayed to say, no, no, Carl Niehaus declared his, his loyalty to Julius Malema. He said he will never betray him. Uh, by that, he was indicating that Floyd is a betrayer, so he will not do it. But speaking about that, even 
even Buswem uh, Kwabani said she was not going to uh, to betray uh, EFF. Well, I don't know if they are betraying EFF or they are betraying Julius. I don't know about that. But the pictures then show that she she did actually jump ship, even though she said publicly she's not. She was rubbishing uh, SABC rumors and she was showing in a united force that she will not. But of course, she she has since left. What does it mean? Well, Mukwabani says those are the those are the how does she put it? Those are the sins that she's paying for. In amongst other things, but people are saying those 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 reasons are weak. But amongst other things, is of course the fact that her sins are investigating all of those things, and the CSR leaks, and and people are now saying. CSR leaks contained EFF people, and this is why she's leaving. Ah, man, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, this is what. Uh, uh, but I did try to contact uh, Comrade uh, uh, Debo Mukwili. Uh, I don't know if the lady that I got hold of is here or not, but she told me uh, it's a wrong number. But anyway, Machine Political Inquiry, tell me what you feel about it. It's going to be going to be a very sudden I don't want to touch you see I don't want to touch especially about what is happening in the EFF I just wanted us to discuss this particular link because I don't think a lot of people will will discuss her but I mean people are suggesting that it could be her I'm worried but let's just see what they think about it thank you much and political incorrect a very good. Thanks for making time. Surely, you know, as per the, the, the construction of your of your statement here, this uh, must have been uh, put together. The decision must have been taken with a very heavy heart. Yes, yes. Uh, one must understand that it's not about me as a person. It's about the integrity of the organization that I've joined and the reason why I've joined it. Um, the exchange of money might have been on my personal interest, uh, but if it causes the organizational integrity, I'm, I'm not above the organization. My organization comes first and I come last. I didn't join it for any personal gain. So what I, what I did, I did out of my heart and in saving the organization because I've seen the whole day and the whole night yesterday. The topic was not about whether Cyril Ramaphosa had access to the uh, CR17 account, but the, the, the discussion was about Tebo Homokwili getting money. And once you talk Tebo Homokwili, you attach the EFF. So the integrity of the EFF must still prevail. That's why I took that decision. Yeah, yeah. Just give yeah. us a sense of this 80,000 rents between 2017 and 2019. What's the whole story behind it? You know, it's, it's a personal matter. One uh, is the one that I've disclosed upon. I had a very tragic uh, incident this year where my cousin, the husband and the wife were brutally murdered. And as an African woman, you will communicate to people. My leadership knows about it. I communicated. I, it was be stated on record. I've never requested any money from, from the president of the country, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. I've never. Mm. Uh, it was a communication between colleagues to say, and I, I don't have, it must be also on record, Tabo, that I don't have a personal relationship with uh, the president of the country because I had it this, it this afternoon you know, in your Taviso Temas uh, program. He took the narrative to another level. I don't have a personal, I'm a married woman who respects herself and who respects her, her family and the husband. So I don't have any personal relationship with him. Yeah. I was treating him as a as a as a colleague. So the letter I wrote a message like any other person received. That's why my leadership was aware of my action. She speaks about this, and why am I linking this up? 
I'm linking it up because in particular people are making assertion on it, but not only that, what kind of cater is she? Because she looks like a someone who took a fall deliberately to shield EFF. Uh, but you'll, you'll see she, she would struggle at the end. But okay, just, just listen to this clip. With that heartfelt thing, he must contribute to me. I didn't even know where that money comes from. The other, the other money of 2017, we were in a, in a process of, 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 of establishing a fund for girls, young girls in the rural areas to, to have access to sanitary towers. So we had a project that we want to unveil for the sanitary towers. Mm. He contributed for the program to be unfolded. But in between that time, there were issues. We couldn't move forward with the, with the project. So we were busy with other things. We couldn't move so, so forward. When we realized that there is this matter that can paint the organization, we then identified. So why are you resigning then? If, if no. you know. Okay, so, so this was her. And uh, she looks and she was very convincing, according to me, as, as the issue went on. But if you will listen deeper into it, she, she's someone who then at the end, because she did not get uh, uh, several money once, she got several money uh, twice. Uh, when she was working on, and she battled to, of course, announce what CSI is, uh, corporate social investment, corporate social responsibility, as a member of parliament, they are tasked to do that uh, as EFF members to go out into the public and make sure that they they work on certain things. Uh, like I said, uh, just listen to her on Power FM again, where she struggles to to explain if the recipient of the money actually went there. So here's the thing: could she be someone who was using? Uh, because she did deny that she the link could be uh, Mjolo. She does say she's, she's married, she's got a family, she wouldn't be dating the, the, the president. But in explaining the money, she said the first one, uh, the earlier one, and this is where you will listen, how the money was, was gotten. But continue listening. It's Instead of just saying... Me, Tabo, Tabo, it's you Tabiso. must understand. Yeah. Tabiso, I'm yeah. sorry. Tabiso, you must understand, it's not about me. It's about the EFF. Mm. Once I am there as the Wokomukwid, people will 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 taint the EFS image. Yes, that's what I I I, I mean. I I don't I, I I didn't join the EFS because of a position. When I joined the EFS, I joined the EFS as an individual, and I said to the EFS, I'm not here. As a, as a, a, for any personal gain. So if ever was any decision that they can take as a, as a, as a leadership, the only thing that I can restore now is my membership because with it I'll be able to to continue with the fight of access of land and also emancipation of our people economically. That is the most important thing that is that I want to achieve. I want I want South Africans, especially us as black people, at the end of the day, be able to access the means of economy and be able their families. Do you regret taking the money? No, I don't regret. I don't regret taking the money because it was not for any other thing than to service. Regret might just uh, put you in a complicated position when the EFF leadership were to mull over whether we, you still like, deserve to be a member or not. Like, like I said, Taviso, that we had a very thorough discussion on this matter with the leadership. I don't doubt my leadership. I know whatever decision, even if they can take me to a DC, 
I will be willing to go. But I know the processes of DC will take long. That's why I said to them, let me resign. I don't want you to waste money that I know that the organization doesn't have of booking uh, accommodations, coming here and listening to me, because the same story that I'm telling is the same story that I will also tell. So let me, yeah. about me, it's about the EFF. So you say the money that you received for sanitary towels, uh, that project did not get off the ground. So did you end up chowing the money? No, I didn't chow the money. Uh, we, I assisted. Uh, I assisted. I assisted. I assisted people that were need, that needed that assistance. Who, who are those people? The, I, the needy. I, I can't. I can't. I, I, I didn't do it for publicity. No, but um, it sounds like you don't know who those people are. No, why shouldn't? Why shouldn't I? Don't know. Who, who are they? No, I can't mention people by name in the in a in a in a in a radio. I can't because I didn't assist them to come and break that I, Tebuko Mukwili, assisted such and such and such people. That is not how we operate in the EFF. But we it, don't it is money for, for a project. People. Yes, it's the What's money What's so wrong for with project. saying this is the no, contribution no, I, I made to No, so I can't. I've, I've assisted more than 100 people in South Africa. I will never in, in a million mention one by name. I will never do that because it, it is not in the name of the EFF. We don't assist people to come and break to say, look at me, I've assisted so and so, I've, I've given so and so money, I've given so and so life. I've given, that is not how we do things. That is why most of the things that we are doing for social, uh, for, for people to, to, to receive, what do you call it in Sokoa, social, in community. You'll never see us breaking on social media. No, but, You'll never but, see but when, when the CIC had his birthday, if, if no, hold on. If the leadership of the organization asked me to provide them with that list, I will definitely do that. Was it to individuals or organizations? Individuals. Individuals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thanks. Thank she, you very much. That's according to me. Uh, she, she's not a bad person per se. If you look at the politics, the bigger politics of South Africa, she's not a bad person at all. Because she's swimming with other politicians for what she's doing. But if she were to go somewhere where integrity is checked, I think she would fall short. You can't be an EFF but also support uh, Ramaphos, especially at the time where uh, Malema was shooting everywhere. Does he represent the EFF? I'm not sure. But she's back at the EFF after serving five years. She requested to, to come back to the EFF after five years. And in fact, that's what she says. Tell me what you feel about her. Uh, the Mkwabani issue, you would understand. Sure. We must ask her, how far are you with taking the DA to court because they said you are a spy? If you are not a spy, because now we believe you are a spy. Your actions just suggest that you are a spy. So take the DA to court because you said you went to take the DA to court and you want to challenge them that you were not a spy. Once a spy, always a spy. <laughs> I told you that state security is hard at work doing everything in its power to protect the Guptas and the ANC government. We should have listened before the DA spoke about the spy thing. I was the first one to receive a message and if you remember I spoke to that point in the comment. I was the first one to receive a message that she's a spy from reliable spooks but because I don't believe in spook politics, I said, ah, these ones are like that. They might be information peddlers. I was told by the spooks themselves that she's a spook. <laughs> but I said, why deny an African child an opportunity? She has proved herself through an interview. Let's give her benefit of doubt. Yo, yo. <laughs>
ah, we didn't know what we we're doing. <laughs> now we regret that thing. We regret it. South Africa, we regret supporting this comrade. She's going to collapse that office. That office as it is now. You know, I saw a document from EFF Parliament or Governance uh, Task Unit saying we have referred the matter to a public protector. I was like, eh? why is the EFF sending things to this one now? <laughs> it's just a waste of time. She's not going to do anything in defense of public press and the people of South Africa. The first, the first thing she did when she arrived in the office to change the channel, not to SABC. If she's so patriotic, not to SABC, to Guptas, to Guptas. That thing is not even a TV man. It's not something you'll want to watch. So, my sister, you <laughs> is bad. I tell you now. But I can guarantee you, we will solve this problem. Yeah. We will solve it. We are just waiting for one, two. Once it lands in our hand. Jimmy Manny has also resigned. Uh, to go uh, and join MK uh, and uh, there will be many others who are going to leave the EFF because they've got their loyalty and support to the DBT president. So uh, fighters on the ground should be prepared for more people to follow and um, this should not serve as a point of collapse for the EFF. This is a testing moment. The organization that has lived beyond 10 years has never been through this testing moment. The EFF will have to pass this test or it will have to die. And we, as members and leaders of the EFF, will defend its life, will make sure it lives forever for generations to come it is the responsibility of the provincial leaders the regional leaders and the branch leaders to consolidate the ground and strengthen the branches of the eff this is not the end it's the beginning of a journey because we have turned 10 years and this is a new chapter for the eff so you can be rest assured that we are not going to be howling insult at each other. We are not going to be speaking bad about each other. Individuals make individual political decisions. And they will stand by those decisions.